What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Team 69 Crew channel. Now in today's video, it's not actually a gameplay video, it's just something that uh, people have requested me to do. Um, I was asked over the last few weeks to check out people's channels and sort of like give them a bit of advice or just a few general tips on what they can do to improve their channels. So I thought instead of just replying to them individually, I'd make this video and you guys can sort of like take tips or helpful advice or even things you wouldn't even thought of to help your channel grow on YouTube. Um, so as you know, sort of like making videos to put onto YouTube is quite easy. But um, editing it to make it not only entertaining but also engaging is just as important. So say you make a 20 minute video and it's really not entertaining at all or engages the audience. You've wasted 20 minutes of people's time and your channel isn't really going to get anywhere because people don't enjoy the content. But make it entertaining and engaging and people are going to want to come back because they know what they're in for each time they see a video that you make. Um, and word will spread and people will come back to your channel and they'll tell friends and it will share and that's it. That's how your channel sort of grows. But um, alongside just making your a video is entertaining, you want to also make sure you use eye-catching thumbnails and appealing titles. Um, titles are what pretty much people look at before they even see what the video thumbnail is like. And then the thumbnail is also the secondary thing that people will see and think, oh, I haven't seen that picture before, I'll go and click the video, maybe it'll be really good. And then obviously that's how, again, people share your videos, they say, oh, look at this, this is pretty cool. Um, but if you've got a bland title and a really, like sort of like just copy and pasted Google search uh, thumbnail from somebody else's video, it's going to be something they've already seen, so they're likely not to click on it. Um, so like I say, you don't really want to sit there for two or three hours editing a really good video and then completely fluff it when it comes to the title and the thumbnail. You want to make sure it's all well thought through and it's all original. I mean, like I say, you can go on Google and you can just go and copy and paste like a, a picture from the Google search relative to the game you're making. But if it's a picture that's been used a lot and people have seen it a lot, they're not likely to click on the videos at all. Um, alongside sort of like what you can do to improve your videos, make sure you're also an active user. Now by this I mean instead of just uh, replying to people that comment on your own videos, make sure you go onto other people's channels and comment on their videos. And I don't mean leave hate comments or anything like that. I mean leave some helpful, fun, entertaining and very thankful messages as such. Um, the more sort of talkative you get and the more you get around on people's channels and in the community and stuff you can actually gain quite a few subscribers and even the chance to like collab with people even on if you're a PC gamer, PC, uh, sorry PlayStation or Xbox whatever you will gain more people's attention from being active on other people's channels as well as your own um, so that's also quite important and also like I say if you do manage to get to collab with people you sort of get to the chance to share your two channels together at the same time so word will spread about you both you'll gain more subscribers in turn you'll gain more views again um, make sure to use decent equipment now the equipment side of things can be pretty expensive um, if you want like to get the really high-end stuff but using decent equipment is just as important as what it is to making the quality of the video because if you've got a really really naff say webcam or not a very good microphone or not a very good capture card people will like your content but it won't be as entertaining or as appealing to them as it would be if someone had like a a decent capture card or decent camera and all the rest of it um, so the best thing to do is not go for the expensive stuff but research and look into what you could potentially get for a fraction of the price but could do the same job um, I personally for my game capture I used a HD PVR rocket which was, I think, when I bought it, uh, probably about two years ago now. Uh, it cost about £99. Pounds. Um, and that was because I saw the Elgatos. And they were ranging from like 150 to £210. Pounds. And I thought, well, what's the difference between this HD PVR and an Elgato? And there really isn't any difference apart from the name. So it's like when you go to buy a car, you sort of like pay for the name as such uh, instead of what the product is. So if you go for Elgato, it's going to be expensive. If you go for anything else, it's going to be cheaper because Elgato is just a name you pay for as such. Um, and this isn't me slating Elgato because obviously they are really good as well. But and obviously if you can't afford it, go and get it. But myself personally, I saw people having problems. They were losing footage. They were losing content. Um, and I personally wanted something different. So I went for the HD PVR Rocket. And so far, so good. It's not let me down at all. Um, it works on PC. 
you can use game capture on the PC, you can use game capture on the PC to the Xbox. Uh, it captures pretty much anything. It works on PS4, works on Xbox One, works on 360, PS3, PC, it works on everything. So it's well worth just researching what you want to go and get instead of just going, oh, I want this certain particular thing without doing any research to see what could be comparable the same as what you were going to get. Um, social media is the next thing. Make sure you're not just on YouTube and going around just on the forums like I've said to do. Um, make sure you've also got yourself some social media applications dedicated to your channel. So for instance myself, I use Twitter, I also use Snapchat and I also use Instagram. And these are all really good uh, social media outlets that let you spread word about your channel. Um, for Instagram as such, I've got 574 followers on Instagram, I've got 474 followers on Twitter. So that's another 900 plus people that know about my channel on top of the thousand plus subscribers that I've got. So the more social media you can get, the better. Um, Facebook and Twitter are probably the best ones. Instagram is really good if you just want to sit, show people behind the scenes. Like on my Instagram, I've got like behind the scenes of what games are coming up. I've got a picture of my setup and what changes I've made to it, um, what certain things I use. Just certain days I'm recording certain games to let you guys know when li uh, live streams are coming out. Um, Snapchat is good for when you want to do Q and A's, so people can sort of send in questions or video questions through Snapchat for you if you ever get to the Q and A stage. Um, and Twitter is basically just like a Facebook; just post your video links up there. Make sure you keep your channel up to date on Twitter, and people come and read it, and they come onto your channel and have a look. And it's also a good way of gaining subscribers, like I say, if you're using different bits of social media. Um, and lastly, but most importantly, don't just sit down and do YouTube for the sake of the money. Um, if someone goes to your channel and likes your video, it's because they love your channel and enjoy your content. If you're into, uh, sorry, if you're doing a video that's rushed and isn't entertaining, has a bait click title and a thumbnail, and is purely there to gain as many views as you can, people will not want to stay and come back to revisit your channel because they know for a fact just by looking at videos you've made in the past that you've just purely done it to get as many views as you can to make as much money as you can not caring about the community, not caring about what video you've made or what the reactions are going to be um, but it becomes blatantly obvious to people and uh, the community doesn't like that so like I say don't just do it for the money because one it's not there, I mean if you're a beginning channel it, the money just isn't there at all say you've got yourself a few views on your channel one of your videos blooms and goes mad and gets like a couple of thousand views. YouTube only pays you two dollars per one thousand views. So you work, you sit there and do the maths, and literally, unless you've got a really, really good channel gaining tons and tons and tons of views, the money just isn't there for you. So it's pointless sitting down thinking oh, I'm going to go into YouTube and do the money because it's not there. So uh, get that out of your head before you even start. You want to make sure you do it for the right reasons. So you sit down, you enjoy the content you're making. You, in, you want to share it with the community because you love to show what you can do. You love to show off and get people's responses to what you do. You just want to sit back and have fun. And whatever like time, effort and fun and enjoyment, whatever you put into your channel, you gain back from other people's reactions and responses and how much support they, they go to give you. Because I've got, I started like I say two years ago, I think it was two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago. And my channel was sort of really small. Well, it still is small in comparison to all the big ones, obviously. My channel was small for a long time, so it was like one to 200 subscribers took the best part of a year. And then I uploaded a video to do with GTA, because GTA is now my, my most uh, liked uh, content that I put onto the channel. And I gained an easy 600 subscribers in less than a month. And that was the best I managed to do. It was like, oh my god, what's going on? This is This is crazy. And obviously it's just it's just continued to flow from there. So now I've hit 1,024 subscribers again. Um, obviously after all that YouTube stuff that happened a few weeks back where we lost subscribers. But I hit the 1,000 mark again and I'm back on 1,024. So like I say, the more enjoyment and just fun you put into your channel, you get back from other people and the support is fantastic. Um, so hopefully, guys, this helped you out and answered any questions you wanted to be answered um, regarding what you could do for your channels. I mean, like I say, if you're doing gameplay, Make sure the audio is balanced. You don't want your game to be louder than your voice because people aren't going to be able to hear what you say. Say you're playing a racing car game and the engine of the car is just completely flooding out the sound of your voice. People aren't going to want to watch that video in particular because they can't hear you. 
you want to make sure your voice is slightly louder so make sure you go and see like your settings and stuff and just make sure your your volume is balanced between both game and voice um, even if you have to sit down and do a, like a tester video just to make sure you got your audio right so you can like correct it if as you go um, I mean I've sat here many times I've gone into different games and before I've even started making the video I've just sort of put the game on let, play in the background whilst I talk and if it's been too loud then I turn the game down if my voice has been too loud I turn my voice down it's that simple so just make sure you take the time and effort to make sure the video that you're putting up is the video that you want people to see um, and like I say people will enjoy it and they'll keep coming back and that's how you grow your channel so, uh, so yeah like I say hopefully this, this did help you out um, I will be going back into gameplay videos obviously straight after this um, I should be having a GTA 5 live stream going tomorrow um, which is Tuesday <laughs> it's Monday I'm having one of those days <laughs> um, I think I'll probably be starting around half two three o'clock and it'll probably be for about an hour again um, it depends what GTA updates have come out to, on this Tuesday because I should imagine there'll be more uh, downloaded content available maybe some cars maybe some new tracks um, so like I say you guys are welcome to come and join on that uh, I'm not sure what other days I'll be doing live streams this week but I will let you guys know like I say through social media so if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter you'll see a notification on there I might even put a video up but chances are I'll be on Instagram or Twitter um, and yeah like I say hopefully this this did help you and I will see you in the next video thanks for watching